Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter known for her many portraits, self-portraits, and works inspired by nature and artifacts of Mexico. She was also inspired by the country's popular culture, folk art, and her own life experiences. As a child, she was disabled with polio, and at 18, she was in a bus accident that left her back with back problems and chronic pain for the rest of her life. Despite this, she painted constantly, in bed or in a wheelchair, and painted everything she could reach. Jewelry, dresses, even her pets, a deer, monkey, birds, and a dog. For today's lesson, you will need black construction paper, a white colored pencil or a white crayon, or just a regular pencil if you don't have either, a ruler, and a set of oil pastels. All right, so today we're gonna do a picture on black paper with oil pastels of Frida Kahlo. And we're gonna start by making this frame around the edge of our paper. And to do that, it actually is easier if you have a white colored pencil or a white piece of chalk, maybe. Um, you can use your oil pastel if um, you need to but um, I would do it in pencil first then, just a regular pencil, just so you can mark it off. I'm gonna do it in white colored pencil so you can see. And the easiest way I realized to do this is the thickness of most rulers are about an inch, which is about the border we want. And so what you're gonna do is just line your, your ruler up to make it zero on one end and you're gonna line the edge right up against the edge of the paper. And so, and I'm left-handed, so this side is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna actually do it with my right hand just to show you. Well, what you're gonna first do is draw a little mark right at one inch, and then you're gonna draw another one. This is a 10, this is a 11 inch paper. At the other end for an inch, and so we're gonna just draw, we're gonna trace this ruler edge. Oops. Don't move it. We're gonna draw a line along the edge of the paper. So basically we're doing an inch frame around the whole paper. And so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna put my ruler and I'm gonna line it up so it's exactly on the edge with the paper. And then I'm gonna also line it up so that the bottom, the zero mark is right at the edge of the paper. I'm gonna do a little mark at one inch and then I'm gonna mark down an inch from the top and put a mark. And then I'm gonna trace or just draw a line along that ruler, okay? And then I'm gonna connect these two dots, these two lines, and then turn it upside down and connect these two lines. So that might take you a little bit longer. Um, I've had a practice doing this, so take your time if you need to. You can pause the video until you have that frame done, um, and then you'll be ready to start. <clears throat> Keep your ruler handy, because the next step is we're gonna measure about off the um, middle here. We're gonna measure up about three inches, and now I'm gonna switch to my oil pastel. So we're gonna draw this out in oil pastels. And about three inches, I'm gonna to try to put my ruler about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, about what I think looks like the center of the, of the frame. And I'm gonna do a little mark on each side of the ruler at about three inches. It doesn't have to be exact. But this is what you're gonna do for the neck. You're gonna draw a line angled down from that dot to the corner and from this dot to the corner. And don't worry if it goes over a little bit or see so you have a little mark there, that's okay. All right, so that's our first part. We're making the neck portion of the um, portrait. And then the next part I'm gonna do is the majority of, of this is gonna be the head shape, the face shape. And so I'm going to draw like a U, a big U, but I'm going to, about from here to 
to this line. So I'm starting my U, but I'm gonna pick up my Oya Pastel and continue my U on the other side. So I'm doing a big first half of the U, pick up my Oya Pastel and do the other half. And then when you have that done, again, remember if you need any extra time, just pause the video or ask your teacher to pause the video. And so um, the other thing I want you to notice, I'm left-handed, so sometimes I do things maybe the opposite direction because I'm trying not to get my hand to rub through the oil pastel. So kind of be aware of that when you're writing with your right hand. You don't want to slide your hand, drag it through the oil pastels because that'll smear it. <clears throat> so the next line we're going to do is draw an arc. It's not a huge arc. It's not going to go up to the top yet. Um, just a, an arc to connect these. So it's not going to be a straight line. It's going to kind of arc over. So that's the basic shape of our head. And the next thing we're going to do is kind of in the center of the face is the nose. And we're going to do, it's like an up down, upside down seven or an upside down just little curve line. And that's going to mark the nose. Then the eyes are closed in this portrait. So I'm just going to do two curved lines. And I'm trying to do them symmetrical, basically the same, same length on either side. It's hard to do that with pastels, so don't worry. <clears throat> so there are two. And then these, I'm going to draw some eyelashes. So then the next thing we're going to focus on is the mouth. And to start, I'm going to take my pastel. Now, if you feel like your top of your pastel is getting rounded, like mine is, and you really need a, an edge to draw with, you can peel off the bottom. And again, make sure if you're borrowing someone else's, you ask them first. <laughs> is now I'm going to have kind of a, a sharper edge to use. And I'm gonna draw just a straight line across, just a little bit wider than the nose, like that. And if you have these little um, pieces of oil pastel that pop up, the best thing to do is not to rub them, is to just tap them off your paper. Because if you rub them, they'll smear. See how I've got all the oil pastels on my hand now? You don't wanna rub that. So you just tap it off your paper. All right. So now that I have this straight line for my mouth, I'm going to draw the top part of the lips. And they kind of, it's like a M shape. And then the bottom is just kind of a wide U shape. And that's the basic look to our Frida Kahlo. And after this part, I'm gonna draw in some, um, you know, some of the details, but you can make yours, I forgot one thing, um, you can personalize yours a little bit, so I'll show you how to do that. But I did forget about the eyebrows. So her eyebrows are one of the most, um, you know, unique things about her and her eyebrows were very thick and dark and beautiful. And she, they almost like went together. It was There was usually, um, you can see a little bit of a separation between the eyebrows, but hers, um, she kept them very um, beautiful and thick. So I'm drawing in her eyebrows up at the top. Two curved lines above each eye. All right, so now, if you would like, there's a couple things you could do to draw. This is really her, like her neckline and her, the shirt she has. So I'm going to show you this one I did. I drew in a necklace and you can make the design of the necklace different. You don't have to have a necklace. You could have, um, I made this kind of an angled line. You could make it a triangle line. You can make it a, a, just a U shape. You can put stripes in here. You could have a different design on your shirt. 
that's we're gonna work on this part but you can personalize it however you like so I am I do like having a necklace I'm gonna bring down two actually I'm gonna just connect it here so here's her necklace and I'm gonna draw a circle to start with and then her shirt I'm gonna make kind of an angled edge to her shirt so I'm kind of doing it like I did the first one. I'm going to just make some stripes here. And this is just the outline of how you're going to lay it out. And then you're going to add lots of fun, bold colors afterwards. And then for the, um, for her, she kind of had these really interesting um, headbands and big flowers on them. And so I'm gonna draw at the very top here, I'm gonna draw a big um, circle here at the top to show kind of the center part of a flower. And then I'm gonna kind of do the big petals. And that gives me kind of the dimension of where I want that center part to be. And then the rest of the part of the headband is gonna kinda of come behind that flower. So I'm gonna draw a line from there to the end of her head line there and there. And then I could do another stripe line in the middle if I wanna use a couple different colors. And from there, so this is her headband. Now her hair would have come, could, could be coming out above the headband it could be coming a little bit below the headband around here, but I'm gonna draw some like curls to show her hair is up here. And when I color in the headband, you'll see that'll distinguish that a bit more. Now the final thing I think is fun, and it is optional, if you would like to put some um, earrings on her, you can put just a little bit of an ear shape on either side, just a slight dimension for an ear. And then you could make them, I mean, kind of big, kind of diamond shape earrings. You could do a different shape, circle, you could make them flowers, you could do whatever you like. Now that we have that, and again, anytime you need to pause, just go do so. But now's the fun part where we get to really color in some bold parts to this. And um, one of the things you can tell from her pictures is that um, she loved color and flowers and, and bright, vibrant. So I'm gonna make lips really bright red, beautiful. And you'll see that sometimes the oil pastels maybe aren't the color, they don't show up, they show up differently on black paper. And if you don't necessarily like the way it's turning out, you could actually also layer. So I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna just show you that. I liked the red, but I'm gonna add a little pink to it just to show you. So you can layer color. Remember, I'm not swiping off those little bits of oil pastel. I'm gonna tap them off. And you kinda have to watch your hands. You can rub them on your paper so you don't get too many smears on your paper. And then try to pick really fun, vibrant colors. I'm gonna do her headband a really bright blue. And if you wanna go over a little bit of the white, you can. I'm gonna keep my paper straight so it can stay in the camera range, but you can move your paper to where, so it's easier for you to color. It's a little bit hard for me. And maybe I'll put some of the same blue down here in the shirt. Her dress. And 
and I can also layer a lighter color blue right on top of that just to add a little bit of brightness. And that lightens it up a little bit, if you'd like. And then maybe I'll take a bright, some purple, that might be kind of fun. Maybe that overlaps a little bit on the blue. coloring and just play the music so you can enjoy decorating your picture as well. 